Giuseppe Conti uh, is the president of uh, Netval Association, which is the, the largest association of uh, technology transfer offices in uh, uh, principally in, in public research organization in Italy. And, uh, and now we have also Fabio Terrani that uh, you already know. So Giuseppe, please uh, yes. give your, your, your summarization of uh, the different lessons we, we learned today. Okay. Yesterday. So thank you very much for having me here, having us here, let me say, and thanks for the organizers for, for um, making it possible this, this kind of uh, event, amazing and inspiring event. So thanks to, to, to Fabio, to, to Marika, to Valeria, all people involved in organizing that. Thank you very much. And um, so my, my duty is try to to get some conclusions, uh, actually it's, it's quite a difficult task due to such amazing talks and, and so inspiring talks. So I'm going to try to emphasize uh, highlights, let me say, collected in, in these two, two days, uh, jumping among some, uh, some keywords. Um, apologize to Lucia for, <laughs> for not including her, her uh, key messages due to lack of time, because it's like a, a real-time <laughs> conclusion. So, uh, okay, uh, we, we started with uh, Fabio uh, for, for um, his introduction um, to emphasize the value of technology transfer and, and to stress the aim is to help to the growth of technology transfer in Italy and promote the innovative process in focusing on IP management and, and we'll listen IP management several times, and a new center of, of TT is coming, so I, I make some suspense for, for, the, for the next uh, talk. Um, then Ricardo uh, tried to um, make a sort of definition of technology transfer, and uh, is the, the capability to understand, select, extract, uh, translate, uh, like, like Lucia told us, address research results in order to generate new knowledge, impact, and, and progress. And the TT requires time, cost, investment, and, and risk. And uh, uh, these are, I think, the, the main key uh, messages. Um, Professor Naldini uh, described the, 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 the path, uh, the long journey. We heard about the long journey several times. and. Um, uh, he described uh, within the, the, the business development phase uh, actually three different models. Uh, different because uh, you can deal with uh, pharmaceutical uh, companies, so big pharma, but also with biotech companies and the startup companies. And uh, he uh, showed us uh, uh, pro and cons that you have to, 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 to take in, in, into consideration. So. And um, then uh, Ian. Uh, made the uh, first conclusion of the of the first uh, day. I took uh, uh, actually uh, several notes. I try to to summarize because um, he talked about about the fun. So it's uh, it's also a, a funny uh, activity, and and uh, and uh, he stressed the importance of making experiences. And uh, actually, also Lucia told us the same thing, to, to try and make uh, experiences uh, and not to be afraid of the, of the failure. And then uh, he, he moved to a quite interesting question, how difficult it is to have a good TTO professionals supporting researchers? How difficult? Because they need to understand the science, like once again Lucia told us, uh, and uh, to understand the value uh, of IP, uh, to know the market, uh, to build trust, uh, and to have patience. So, uh, uh, indeed, it's, it's not uh, uh, an, easy, an easy job. Um, then today, uh, Maria Grazia uh, uh, talked uh, to us about the, the, the translational research that can bridge the gap between academia and the industry, so focused on, 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 that, uh, on that way. Um, uh, she talked about the, the, the balance or unbalance uh, uh, between regulatory and commercial risk, once again risk, 
that are higher, higher than scientific risk, and this is not obvious, probably. And uh, and uh, define the role of, uh, of in, in some way, of a uh, human technopole, uh, trying to answer to, to, to Fabio's uh, uh, question, can be strategically fundamental in order to build a system moved by a common goal, actually an ecosystem of both infrastructures and all different stakeholders from academia, industry and, and investors. That can be the, the main key uh, factors. Alessandro gave us um, uh, an inspirational talk, really inspirational talk. Uh, it started from, from the, the issue that uh, there is more money than good I ideas. Uh, okay, we can, we can think about it. Uh, also, uh, he, he told us about the, the fact uh, um, that uh, investors can help you to find a killer market application. Lucia quoted Alessandro on the same on the same uh, uh, issue. And uh, you have to accept that the fact that of changing your technology to create a product is another, another step, different step. And uh, it gave us um, a quite romantic picture on, on free balances uh, uh, between falling in love and love actually, risk and specialization, and failure and success. And uh, I, I like the, the fact that if you want to be an entrepreneur, you must consider these two words uh, not like opposite. So failure and, and, and success. And life is too long for being always the same. I, I like also uh, very much. Um, Anya uh, gave us um, a technical uh, speech, of course, because it's important also address attention to technical uh, uh, things. Um, I like to, to, to underline that uh, uh, IP uh, sometimes uh, is look at a problem. Uh, in, uh, indeed, uh, uh, she gave us a, a speech that uh, um, the patent can be the balanced solution with the different interests, and I think it's quite uh, uh, interesting. Of course, uh, um, you have to look uh, at, the, at the requirements uh, uh, to be satisfied, but also if there is a market, because patents are costly. And so uh, uh, you have to, to consider in advance, uh, as early as possible, uh, the, the, the need and the, and the market. And keep in mind to patent before to publish, of course. <laughs> Once again, um, Anna Maria, Anna Maria stressed the the, uh, the method, a model. Uh, uh, she uh, gave us uh, some example about uh, using uh, some tools like uh, proof of concept uh, that are quite uh, also in Italy. We we started to use this this kind of uh, uh, tools both in the public and the and the private way. And um, once again, again, she uh, told us that uh, TT is not a one-shot activity. So once again, it's a, it's a long journey. Uh, so to get the, to, to the conclusion, TT is, is difficult, OK? Um, but uh, we, we heard about uh, the fact that the, there is more money than ideas. So, okay, we can, we can try to, uh, to catch it. Uh, to take care of the problem and not uh, fall in love uh, into the solution. Uh, of course, to protect your, your IP. So there is the technical uh, part uh, to be considered. To uh, listen to the need, once again, before uh, thinking at uh, an IP and, and so try to, to you know, to, to design the IP, listen to the, to the need, and to look at the impact, so to, to, the, to the commercial part, to the industry, and, and to the investor. So TT is difficult, but can be simple with practice, practice, and practice. So, Fabio? <laughs> yeah. um, we, in this couple of days heard a lot of uh, interesting experiences and inspirational stories but we shouldn't forget that in Italy we have a very good science in particular in life science and not only but in life science and in Milan there is an incredible concentration of institutions of research and hospitals that 
probably in no other places in in Europe have the same density. I don't know if I'm wrong, but we are one of the I'm sure one of the best uh, around the world and uh, uh, for sure in Italy. Uh, we shouldn't forget on the other side that we, uh, even we heard very nice stories that we are very weak on technology transfer and the devalorization of science. We are here all struggling uh, since many years, uh, but it's not enough, I would say. Because if we compare the results in science and the results we have in technology transfer and in creating uh, IPs and uh, new companies in the field, we shouldn't be satisfied at all. We must do better. And this is what I would like to, to give as a message to everyone that is here and all uh, the people who is following us uh, online. Uh, we should cooperate as far as possible, collaborate, talk, and uh, strengthen one each other. Uh, we should avoid the Italian uh, bad attitude to fight one each other, uh, because this is our you know, main <laughs> uh, character. And should remember that we are very weak if we compare to uh, countries where there are more or less the same uh, level of science production. This morning we heard about the numbers of uh, the Stanford University or the number of the MIT and the Boston areas. Um, they are astonishing if we compare to the numbers that we have. Even if we did a lot of work and there has been incredible successes if uh, we mind we get back to 30 years ago. So what I would like to, to do is uh, to give this message. Um, Human Technopole has received a, a mission to give a contribution in the field of technology transfer too. Uh, I would like to have such a contribution in the more open way to uh, collaborate, to talk, to do something together. So I would like to give all the speakers and the, all the, the, the listeners at home the message that we want to hear messages from you about what to do together and how to reinforce this platform because I would like to build up a platform that could be helpful for the people working in this field. With a couple of main direction, I would say. First of all, of course, we should take care of the growing research capacity of the human technopole. Uh, we heard that we now are more or less 250 people. At the end of 2023, there will be more or less 450 people. The, and the, 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 the final uh, objective is to reach a thousand researchers. So it's an impressive amount of uh, uh, research capacity and there should be cap the capacity to valorize such a science. On the other side, we are talking with uh, hospitals, with uh, public institutions, with funds, with uh, all the relevant institutions and, and ventures like the F Teleton Foundation, how to uh, promote a center that could be helpful for, their, for them, but also for all the researchers, all the younger uh, scientists that would like to be entrepreneurs and so on and so forth. So, uh, it's too early to give ex the exact outline of what will be the center and the outcome of such a work. What I can mention now is that this is the first initiative. It will be followed by a training activity we will do in collaboration with NetFund and USE. Uh, I would like to do some work of, you know, uh, communication of the experiences, but even the, the, the ones that we heard here and the one that we uh, have been uh, talked about, because another problem in Italy is that we do not know exactly how much we can do, and we are not, we are not trusting ourselves, first of all. 
and we should reinforce our self-confidence because we can we can do it and i hope that in the next few weeks we will start such a training activities that's open to everyone who is listening and we will ask you to uh, apl apply for such uh, an activity that will be free and then we will organize together uh, other initiatives such as communication talk colloquia and if possible i would like to dialogue and criticize even the model we would like to propose for helping uh, technology transfer activities in life science at national level and not only. That's it. This is my short message. Um, I have to talk for 15 minutes because wow, wow. <laughs> um, I, no, we can we can have a me we can have a talk with the present people here. Well, I I I'd like to to introduce uh, uh, briefly for uh, for a discussion with uh, surely with um, with the speakers, but also if uh, someone else have some experience or some idea about one problem that is not uh, uh, underlined during these two couple of days unless someone asks something uh, during the, the questions that is uh, the problem of the relationship that in italy is particularly critical uh, between public and private uh, because uh, it is true that uh, um, uh, italian research is of very high quality but it's also true that we have learned how to uh, perform the different phases of technology transfer. And we show you some Italian experiences of uh, uh, very high success. Why this is so local and so few cases? Because normally this is impeded by the regulation in this country. Because public research, uh, the majority of research is public, belong to the public bodies and public bodies uh, refer to a sort of uh, regulation that impede particular relationship with private with money with profit this is impede so we can teach we can try but if someone else say you cannot do this you cannot do that this is in it's impediment very 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 high risk so i like to ask because Human technical, in particular, this uh, technology transfer experience that will start has been financed by public. You know, they promote this. And the first answer is, okay, I want to promote, but please sit on the table and discuss, which is the, the impediment, because un unless, uh, unless uh, you should go to the court and defend because you try to, to, to to treat uh, money with others. So this is, is in, in our opinion, our opinion uh, is, is a, one of the probably the, the really the, 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 the problem now in Italy. Um, I have had many experience in PPPs, public-private partnerships in building infrastructures. Even I have a, a background in, in biology. I did a, a job. <laughs> In managing large infrastructures buildings such as the last metropolitana last uh, underground line here in milan and in a couple of highways and uh, i had very bad nights in managing uh, this coupling uh, of public uh, mentality on one side and the private attitude and of course we should do you know much better in in this thing i think i think the first problem is that uh, and I would like to work on it. Uh, the first problem is cultural attitude. Because in the public institutions and the public mindset uh, doesn't look very well with, with uh, uh, empathy towards profit. And there is a bad vision. I don't know if, uh, you know, uh, is a heritage of uh, a, an Italian uh, I don't know if it's Italian, because we, in, in our long history we had even, even very good uh, tradition in, in doing entrepreneurship. But in last years we are looking, we have suspicion to some, some initiative. First of all, uh, work on the cultural attitudes. I think that this meeting has been done uh, even for uh, motivating and inspiring young 
researches to look in a different way at entrepreneurial opportunities because it's better to stay in the labs but also look at possible you know uh, outcomes not even in, not only in terms of money i would like to mind about technology transfer and the valorization of science like a get back for uh, for society sure, and sure. that's it this is my main concern um, about the specific regulation, I think you are much more expert than uh, uh, me, you know, I'm sure. And uh, what I would like, what I can do is that having a governmental, uh, you know, mandate, uh, we are very open to collect uh, requests by uh, private and public uh, experts working in the field to reinforce because I you know I'm sure they know what should be done but they don't do it uh, I'm speaking about regulators let's see yeah I don't want to you know to uh, get, get around but if we look at what has been the discussion about the end of life and euthanasia that's a specific issue where even the constitutional court said to the politicians, you have to rule this domain. Uh, nothing has been done. So we should get back and we should reinforce our uh, questions available to do so. And we can ask even to Marco Simoni, that's the chairman of Human Technopol and much more authoritative as, uh, than me. Um, I would like to ask, uh, I don't know if I can uh, take the, the floor. Even uh, because we have a few minutes of time, uh, if we can ask to the people here to present themselves and to say some word why they uh, asked to take part to this meeting. May I? Yeah, please. You're welcome. Uh, can we start from... No, you, you, because he's not ready. <laughs> Thanks so much. Um, Francesco Barcotti here. I would like to present myself together with my two colleagues behind me that are Cosmin Narazo and Giuseppe Guagliano. Where are, are you from? We are from uh, Amix, I would say, Milan, Turin and Pavia. And basically we are here because we are working with a patented nanotechnology, a mucus similar nanotechnology for drug delivery. And personally, I'm, I'm both in this uh, let's say, entrepreneurial world and in big pharma world, but my colleagues behind me are currently doing their actual research on that technology. Thank you. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> That's the reason I asked the question before, basically. <laughs> let's do it. Hi, I'm Bianca Berzeghini. I'm a PhD student in bioengineering at Politecnico di Milano. And we focus our research on translation medicine with the scaffolds that are 3D structure for stem cell therapies. So we are here because uh, we participate to switch to product uh, competition in Politecnico. And uh, I'm pleased to be here for this. So thank you all for your thank, intervention. Thank you. Hi, I am Cristiano Petrini and I am a PhD student in bioinformatics. Uh, uh, I'm here uh, for many reasons, that uh, mostly for curiosity about this kind of field. I have some ideas in mind. I'm in my last year of PhD, so I'm even wondering what I will do when I will be old. So that's a good point to start and getting an idea, continue to the academia, uh, moving uh, between academia and uh, not academian work. Uh, having a real job and it could be something even that could be interesting for me. And so I really enjoy this this talk. I, I didn't participate so much with questions and so on. I'm just like Alice in Wonderland, so everything is weird, new, but uh, yeah, I was really interested in the speech and I have some ideas in mind with my work, that, so they give me some inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm, 
I'm Mark Pizzocchi. Uh, I'm here with uh, a colleague of mine, uh, Silvia. We are from Humanitas University. Uh, we are just here for curiosity <laughs> because we want to understand more uh, in deepness the technology transfer. Uh, you, are you are students. We are postdoc. Uh, postdoc. Yeah. We just got our PhD. Yeah, we just got our PhD yeah, last year. So we were uh, um, since. Like for me, I'm not um, very, I don't know much about these uh, topics and uh, something. So I think it's good to uh, also for, because we do basic research, we are neuroscientists and uh, it's good to know how to like from basic research to go to like to the market and to really help people, n not just doing research, but also like for uh, answer the question and uh, resolve the problems. So it was a, uh, Every talks were very, very interesting and inspiring. So, thank you very much for having us. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Crosino. I'm a PhD student in plant biotechnology, and uh, my research is focused uh, on the production of uh, molecules in order to uh, biostimulate plant growth and uh, production. And uh, I'm here because uh, I needed uh, uh, new motivations uh, because uh, I'm a bit in trouble with my research. <laughs> Thank you did, very much. did you get it? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, I'm Roberta Nossa. I am biomedical engineering. I got my PhD like two years ago. And now I'm a researcher at uh, IRX Media in Lecco. Uh, but in the future, probably I should work uh, in the technology transfer uh, office, but at the moment I know almost nothing. And so I'm trying to catch <laughs> where I can uh, some uh, notions. And so that's the reason I'm here. Thank you. Needed. <laughs> I'm Francesco Ciscato from University of Padua. I'm, uh, I'm an old postdoc and uh, um, I'm there because uh, uh, I have a patent on, uh, on um, a complex molecule that specifically is delivered to the tumor and uh, uh, is able to uh, work in vivo. And so uh, I'm very cu curious to, to see if this can go further and uh, I'm thinking my dream is uh, to uh, to see if I can open a startup or have funding to, to go further and see if this molecule can be effective in the future. Let us know something about it. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I, would, I would like with, to discuss with you and with uh, uh, Dr. Lisa Faccio. We sure. all would be glad if, to if know If you more. have five, yeah. time, five, five minutes of, of your time to dedicate, thank you. Thank you. My name is Marta Bortoletto. I work at the IRCS Fate Bene Fratelli in Brescia, and uh, I'm the lab leader of the um, Neurophysiology Lab. I'm here because I've been given the task to understand better trans uh, technological transfer, and also because we use a lot of um, you know, medical devices, and uh, sometimes we have the view of the clinician or the application, and we kind of like want to um, integrate our need with the, the people that develop the technology. Um, but yeah, so I, I came here because I really wanted to understand better all the different uh, stakeholders, all the different entities that are involved in the process. And did you get the point? I, I did, I did. <laughs> I, I learned a lot. That, uh, that was very good. Uh, still have lots of questions, but it's a, it was a great start. Thank, Thank you. you. What is missing? Davide Ederle from uh, Ab Innovazione Trentino. Uh, we are in charge of technology transfer initiatives linked to uh, research foundation at University of Trento. So I'm here just to make some networking and know each other and share experiences and opportunities of collaboration. Thank you. In Trentino there are a lot of things ongoing. I think we should collaborate much more. We shall conclude this. Please, please, go ahead. 
Hi, Ilaria Corridori from the University of Trento, too. I'm a postdoc at the Depart Department of uh, uh, Industrial Engineering, and I'm here both for two reasons. The first one is that uh, I'm working on a possible spin-off uh, at Biotech Center of uh, Biotechnologies uh, under the uh, Department of uh, Industrial Engineering at, at the University of Trento, and both because and also because I'm very interested in this uh, in the technology transfer um, issues and so I came here thank you thank you hi I am Karina Cuyocaro and I'm doing the PhD at the University of Torino actually I'm working at the ERX in Candiolo so I'm working on pancreatic cancer it has nothing to do with the subject of this workshop but I was curious and I still don't know what I want to do after the PhD, so I'm trying to, to see. What's it in has the a world. lot of to do with uh, <laughs> not nothing. Well, I'm doing basic research, so it's very far from the translational one. No. <laughs> Up to now. I think it's a very hot issue you're working on. Hello, I'm Giovanni Terzulli from uh, Rome, Università Cattolica del Sacro Cuore. I'm an MD uh, and resident in pneumology there. Uh, I'm here because I found myself uh, these days a bit uh, tied in uh, the classical uh, clinician uh, figure. So I was, um, well, I wanted to get in deep in the, uh, well, let's say, probing the possibility of uh, becoming something more and uh, applying my knowledge in a more uh, research uh, kind of uh, job. Uh, so uh, okay. I, I, I had a really uh, great ideas and uh, it was really a pleasure participating in, the, in this workshop. Thank you. Thank you very much. I take the, the chance to say that we um, will be distributed in future a sort of a questionnaire to the present people and to the people following us uh, online about pros and cons uh, and comments uh, on this initiative and suggestions and uh, wishes for future initiatives. So you can do it. Hi, I'm Elena Zerbini. I'm a PhD student from the University of Insubria. I'm here for uh, curiosity because uh, I'm uh, start to looking for uh, a different point of view of uh, doing research and uh, doing uh, an alternative in future. Okay, thank you. Hi, I'm Filippo Molinari. I'm uh, from University of Insubre too. I work on uh, lignin valorization, in particular on uh, enzymatic biocatalysis, and uh, since uh, after the PhD, I could be working in industry. I want to know something about the patent regulation and uh, other, other field other than academia. Thank you for your talks. Thank you to you. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Gianluca Turco, uh, Associate Professor of uh, the University of Trieste. I'm also the delegate of uh, the medical department uh, in technology transfer. And I have to say that uh, I am also the co-inventor of two uh, patents and uh, co-founder of uh, a startup uh, which uh, started at the University of Trieste and uh, these talks were great for me because I saw a lot of uh, things that I did wrong in the past <laughs> so so it helped me maybe to not do them again in the future and uh, it was really great uh, great to be here with you thank you very much thank you Trieste is a very important site for science. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Antonella Potenza and I'm here with my colleagues. Uh, we came from uh, uh, Neurologica at the Institute of Besta here in Milan. Uh, we are we are keen on um, cerebrovascular disease studies and we came here just because we were interested and curious of uh, about uh, TT and their in this application. Thank you. Yeah. I hope we can work in the future very in the next few months with BESTA too, so. Hi, my name is Fernanda Pinheiro. I am a group leader in computational biology here at Human Technopole. 
Uh, my research is focused on building mathematical models to predict the evolution of antibiotic resistance. So I'm here because I'm curious about uh, the technology transfer. I think it's something that we don't have in our formation in academia. Like I'm a physicist, I have never been exposed to such things. <coughs> and also because in the context of my research, I think this is a challenge with antibiotics. So I wanted to understand from the viewpoint of industry, how is it that academia could contribute to the problem that we're going to face in the next year. So. Thank you for taking part for such a meeting. Thank you for organizing. <laughs> so hi to everybody. I'm Luigi Pace. I'm a PHI at IGM, Candiolo Cancer Research Institute uh, close by Turin. So I'm an immunologist. I'm interested in the epigenetic targets to potentiate the memory immune responses. During my postdoc five years ago, I patented one of these epigenetic targets that been financed last year with 75 million of dollars, so first class uh, startup. Now we have new, new targets, now I'm working in Italy, and I would like to know how to move further with the um, protection of the, uh, the patent and also how to see how the country can support our idea. So you meet here plenty of experts, so you can ask directly to him. To them. No, in fact, when I was postdoc, so I was one of the pioneers with my PI uh, on, you know, on introducing the concept of epigenetic targets to modulate specific enzymes, uh, um, heterochromatin factors that are compacting you know, the nucleus, so activating and uh, shut down genes. And then when I'm, so it was, it was very well financed, but then I left in Paris uh, the patent, but now we have new targets here in Italy, and I don't know how to move further. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, just the... Last two. Yeah, yeah, it's always well done. Well, my name is Luigi Cristiano. I'll introduce also my colleague Anna Langelo. We are a research fellow at USPAVIA and uh, we're doing uh, uh, research in technology transfer and uh, research validation. So our goal is to help uh, researcher to uh, to create patent and. Uh, protect your ideas. So thank you. We can thank you. Help you. Thank you. <laughs> I think this tool has been very heterogeneous, but um, for me, um, it's a satisfaction to uh, listen to some of your uh, stories and uh, possible collaboration with all the people that's here. Before leaving the floor, to back to Ricardo, I, I stole the microphone. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Uh, I want to thank, first of all, uh, Marika Nobile, uh, that together with uh, Valeria Dardano and Bianca Bontini, they and all the people working their uh, technical staff, thank you very much, uh, because it's not so easy to manage such a, a digital event. It's sort of a... TV broadcast and together a live event and so on and so forth, but we, we, we should be used to, to do so. Thank you again, and uh, I go away. Thank you. Ricardo? Hey, thank you. Thank you. Comment.